Hey, parkour delivery. Let's go. My parkour delivery is here. Now that I'm a parkour pro, I can get parkour delivered to my house. Hey, did you order parkour construction to this house? Yes, sir. That's me. I ordered the uh, six block tall slime jump to my bedroom. Sounds good. Where do you want it built? Uh, let's see. I think this would be a good place for it. You think you can build it right there? Oh, sure. I can make that happen. To think just a few days ago, I was a parkour noob, and now I'm getting custom parkour jumps installed in my house is crazy. This look good? Yep, I think it's perfect. Hey, thanks, man, for parkouring all the way out here. Sure. You got my payment? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. It was four one blocks in a row, right? Okay, one, two, three, four. There you go. Thank you very much. And my tip? Your tip? Really? Don't tell me you thought you weren't going to tip me. If you're a parkour pro, it's always expected that you tip when you buy something. Oh, I hope I make this. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. A 360? Yeah, you're good, man. Thanks. And like most things in parkour civilization, the way you tip is with more parkour. Luckily, I survived that payment for the jump installed in my house. If I missed any one of those jumps, I would have fallen back down to the parkour noob level and my journey to become a pro would have been for nothing. But I won't say it wasn't worth it because now... I can practice slime jumps anytime I want inside of my house. And this is how my new life is as a pro in parkour civilization. No parkour noob at the bottom level knows what life is like up here, except I was the only one to rank up and become a part of parkour society. To rank up to a parkour pro, I had to be the first noob in history to beat an impossible parkour course. When I got to the top, I got my iron boots and I was officially a pro. I thought I had made it. I thought I was at the top of parkour civilization, but that's when I realized I truly knew nothing about the world I was living in. My journey to getting to the top of parkour civilization wasn't even close to being done. Now, I was about to discover what life was like on the second layer of parkour civilization. At the parkour pro level, everywhere you look is a two block jump. When I was a parkour noob, I thought two block jumps were extremely hard. But now that I could sprint, I realized they were almost like one block jumps. Something about the pro level felt different. Maybe it was the fact that when I was a noob, I would see dirt in the sky, but now there's nothing above me. And that's when I looked back back at the parkour temple. There was still a world above me, and now it was way higher up. But there was something else that was different. I was staring down at the house I used to live in. When I was down on the noob level, I would look up and all I would see is dirt. But somehow on the pro level, I could look down. And I could only assume that the same goes for the layer above me. Now that I was adjusted to my surroundings, it was time to go searching for a place to buy a house. That was assuming that life still worked like that up here. When I took a look around, all I saw were the same identical buildings. Maybe this time I wouldn't be getting a mansion. But that's when I found a building that looked different, and it definitely didn't look like a house. When I walked inside the building, sure enough, it was a shop to buy a new house. Hey, aren't you the noob who ranked up? That would be me. Oh yeah, I thought it was you. I'm selling houses today. Choose one you want to buy. <laughs> Let's go. It's time to buy my first house as a parkour pro. Let's see what these prices are. I can get one house for a two block jump. Oh, that's super cheap. All right, what is this one over here? I can get one house for a 2.5 block jump. Okay, that's a little more expensive. And this last one is one house for a three block... Wait, why are these all the same? All of these options are for the same house. Oops, busted. <laughs> I was trying to get a little more profit. Why would anyone fall for that? Since there was only one house to buy, I obviously went with the cheapest option and bought my first house with a two block jump. Congrats on buying your first house as a parkour pro. Let me take you to it. Let's go. Since all the houses were identical, it was no surprise that I got one that looked like this. Uh, you're all set to move in. Feel free to call the parkour delivery service if you want your jumps changed. A parkour delivery service? Let's go. Being a parkour pro is awesome. The living room in my house had two one block jumps and the entire house itself was three stories tall. Looks like three jumps to get to my bed on the top floor. Hey, it's your neighbor. Can I come in? Oh, uh, sure. Thanks. Thanks. You're that FBO guy, right? You're the noob who beat the course and ranked up? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm the first one to do it, I guess. I can't believe you're my neighbor. That's crazy. Well, you probably have questions about life up here, right? Anything you want to know? Uh, yeah, one actually. Uh, what happens when we fall? What is the punishment for missing a jump at the pro level? You go down a level. If you miss a jump, you'll be a noob, and you'll have to beat the course again. Okay, so I can never fall, noted. So who are the people above us then? What's above a pro? It's probably best I just show you. Here, come with me. My neighbor started telling me everything there was to know about parkour civilization. He brought me back to the parkour temple where all the statues were. He explained how parkour civilization starts at the noob level, and at level 2, you become a parkour pro. Then, there were the parkour masters. If you were lucky enough to rank up, 
you get gold boots and you become a master. My neighbor said that parkour masters never come down to the pro level, but if they do ever come down, it's a parkour pro's nightmare. He said the parkour masters are ruthless. And then he walked over to the largest statue, the one with the diamond boots. He said that this was the parkour champion. He said that most people down here don't even believe that the champion is real, but the stories say there can only be one parkour champion. Whoever that was lives at the top of parkour civilization, which means if I was going to make it to the top, I would have to become a parkour champion. My first day as a parkour pro was strange. For once, no one was at my door making me parkour for food. But then the question was how do I get food now, or what do I even do? I saw that there was another pro going somewhere, so I decided to follow him. Soon after, I saw another pro going in the same direction, which meant they were probably heading to something important. After jumping for a few minutes, I saw what they were heading to. They were all heading to this massive structure in the distance. When I got closer, I saw that there was a bunch of parkour pros lined up for something. Whatever this place was, these parkour pros were willing to do two block vertical jumps to get here. Fortunately, I didn't fail any of these jumps and I made it into the line. I must have woken up late to whatever this was because I was the last one to show up. At this point, I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but that's when I saw what everyone was waiting in line for. There was a dispenser at the end of the structure. The pro in front of me picked up two items, but the only thing I saw them holding was a piece of paper. What could be so valuable about that piece of paper that people would wait in line this long for? When it was my turn, I clicked the button, and I got a piece of steak. So this is how the parkour pros get food. Then I received the piece of paper. The paper said farm work equals 15 minutes. And this is when I realized how life was different on the pro level of parkour civilization. Instead of parkouring for food like the noobs do, the pros parkour for work. Just like the guy who sold me my house, the guards in parkour prison, or even the pros that fed me every day. They were all just completing their daily task that they got from this piece of paper. And now for my first daily task, I was assigned to work on the farm. Before this, I had never seen an animal in parkour civilization, but this is the place they were all kept. This place was responsible for feeding all of the parkour pros and all of the parkour noobs. And it should be no surprise that in parkour civilization, even the animals had to do a parkour course. My daily task meant that I had to watch all of the animals that did the parkour course. Oh man, this job is terrible. Now I'm just gonna have to watch a cow fall off and die. Whoa, what the? Oh my god, this cow is cooking. How did he even do that? The parkour pros only eat the meat from the animals that complete the parkour course. They say it enhances your parkour abilities. As for the other animals that don't make the course, well, that's where the meat comes from on the noob level. And some noob's gonna have to eat that. Wow, I cannot say I missed that. Parkour pros do their daily tasks for a reason. Once you've completed the task that you got on your piece of paper, you take it to the training grounds. This place is basically the only reason parkour pros are incentivized to work. This is because this is the only place in parkour civilization where you can practice parkour without worrying about falling to the lower level. The entrance to the training grounds is blocked by a barrier, and the only way in is to throw in your slip of paper once you've completed the work. The daily task I completed gave me 15 minutes of practice time. That meant for the next 15 minutes, I could practice any parkour jump I could possibly think of. Here, you have the ability to build any parkour jump you want. But with this being my first day as a parkour pro, I didn't even know what I needed to practice. So I just decided to do the jumps that people left here. It seemed like a lot of the pros were practicing fence jumps, which are jumps I had little to no experience on. But what scared me the most is what I saw over here. Someone was practicing not one, but more multiple three block vertical jumps. It almost seemed impossible to do even one. But if someone was practicing these jumps, that could only mean one thing, that the way up to become a parkour master would be nearly impossible. If I was gonna have any shot at ranking up to become a master, I was gonna have to spend much more time in here practicing. Ah, another beautiful day and I don't have to wake up to either raw chicken or raw beef. Even though I've only been here for a few days, I feel like I haven't really enjoyed myself yet. I mean, for once in my life, I don't even have to go outside side to parkour for food. I don't even have to grab my piece of steak. I'll still have full hunger for days. And now, instead of being bullied by all the parkour pros like I was down at the noob level, I can just do anything I want and no one's here to punish me. Hey, you want to come with me to get our daily jobs? I don't want to be late. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do my daily task. I think I'm just gonna chill today, honestly. What? What do you mean you're gonna chill? You're not gonna get your daily task? Are you sure about that? What? I mean, no one says we have to, so what's the problem? I don't know. I 
just have never seen anyone not do their daily task. Well, maybe I'm teaching the parkour pros that they don't have to parkour all the time. But later that day, I realized I made a huge mistake. Uh, what in the world is that sound? Bro, come on, I was just trying to sleep. Who keeps making that horn noise? Dude, hurry! You gotta get out here now! Follow me and make sure you don't miss a jump! Whoa, 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 what's going on? Be late for what? Wait, where are you going? I started parkouring in the direction that my neighbor was going, and that's when I saw a bunch of parkour pros lined up, standing completely still. I had no clue what was going on, but I followed my neighbor and soon I got in line with all of the other parkour pros. No one was saying anything. Hey, can anyone tell me what's going on? Dude, don't say anything and look straight ahead. Why? Can't someone just explain what's happening? But that's when it happened. Not too far ahead, someone dropped down from the sky. It was a parkour master. One of you was supposed to design a new course, but someone didn't do their task. Who was it? Oh no, I'm done for. Why does this have to be me? I watched as the parkour master interrogated each and every one of the parkour pros, knowing that sooner or later, he was gonna show up where I was. You. What was your task? My task? I, uh, I was selling houses to noobs on the bottom level. <laughs> Someone already did that task. Prepare for a parkour battle. A parkour battle? 